Hello Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading. So Virgo, we're going to take a look at some past, present, future energy for you and see what spirit needs you to know. This is timeless, so whenever you click on the video, that's when the messages could resonate the most. As it is general, not every message will apply. Just take what does and leave the rest. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, as well as Jupiter. So make sure to check your other placements and let's tap in. Spirit, give me some energy for Virgo. Give me an energy for the past. What is the message? Give me an energy for the past. What is the message? Okay. Trust and faith. Give me an energy for the present. What's the energy spirit? Orphan. Okay. Some of you could feel abandoned, could feel all alone at this time. For some of you, though, I feel like you're isolating yourself because I'm looking at how she's holding herself. So you could just be in a season of solitude, an energy of just wanting to be alone. Um, give me an energy for the future. I have angels in health. Okay. For some of you, um, I feel like you're going to be in recovery, whether this is physical, emotional, mental for some of you, financial. I feel like your, your angels is guiding you towards a season of recovery, healing, and some aspects of your life. Um, let's go ahead and tap in further. Spirit, tell me why... is trust and faith here for the past what's the energy virgo messages why is trust and faith here for the past virgo energy what's the message why is trust and faith here what's the energy ten of pentacles okay tell me more about trust and faith I have the Eight of Cups. For some of you, you could have walked away um, from a family, a family dynamic, a relationship. I feel like you left someone behind or left certain people behind. Give me an energy for the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. For some of you, you walked away from like a marriage. Um, but I feel like this is somebody that you were very abundant with or that you could have been very abundant with. Had you stayed, give me an energy for the Ten of Pentacles. The star in the reverse. You didn't believe. I feel like there was a lack of faith. Thank you, Spirit. Trust and faith. You had a lack of faith when it came to the situation. You didn't believe that somebody was your 10. They were like your spiritual mate. You didn't trust the divine. And so you left. You may have not seen yourself being with this person long term, building with this person. Aquarius energy on the star. Give me a message for the star in the reverse. Why is the star in the reverse here for Virgo? What's the energy? Why is the star in the reverse here? Knight of Wands. So for some of you... um. I'm hearing like rush to judgment. So you could have rushed to judgment of this person. I feel like you really didn't have um, full clarity on the situation, Virgo. You were looking at it from um, your shadow. You were in a very low vibration, Knight of Wands, or this person was. The roles could be reversed. Somebody could also lack common sense. That's not going to resonate for everyone. But I feel like you wanted to operate in a Knight of Wands energy. I'm hearing like Playboy. Playboy, Playgirl. You wanted to have a good time. Um, and again, you really didn't see a future with this person. I feel like something was just meant to be temporary. You didn't want to invest. You just didn't feel like this was the one. Give me an energy for the star in the reverse. Why is the star in the reverse here? Yeah, two of wands to the three of cups. So you move towards a third party. Um, for some of you, this third party is the knight of wands. 
um, somebody's just a good time. But they're not meant to be around for a long time. Star in the reverse, this is somebody that you were not meant to partner with. Or at least meant to create a long-term connection with. It was just supposed to be temporary. Some of you could have chosen to commit to this person. Marry this person. Give me an energy for the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here for Virgo? What's the energy? Yeah, Three of Swords. This was definitely a third-party situation. Give me an energy for... The Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here for Virgo? The Two of Cups. I feel like you, um, I'm hearing broke the heart. You heard the one you were supposed to be partnered up with, your Two of Cups, to go deal with this third party energy. And now somebody's in the Nine of Swords, or you weren't the Nine of Swords. Somebody was devastated. Because you did finally gain clarity on the situation. And it left you stressed out. And it's like, how could I do that? Something has to do like what you believe as well. Like you just could have believed that whoever you were choosing was the right person. But it wasn't. It wasn't a faded connection. At least not one that was meant to give you this Ten of Pentacles. One that was meant to bring you um, a lot of abundance, a lot of prosperity. Give me an energy for trust or this person. Why is trust and faith here for Virgo? What's the energy? Yeah, I feel like you sabotaged um, a divine connection, a lover's connection. Even though we don't have Gemini out here, I have the Two of Pentacles. It's giving me um, lukewarm energy. So I feel like you had one foot in, one foot out of the relationship. And that's how this third party was able to come in and pull you away fully. Or pull this other person away. Give me an energy for the present. Why is Orphan here for the present? What's the energy? Why is Orphan here for the present? What's the energy? Virgo messages. Okay. I have Temperance in the Moon. Sagittarius energy. Cancer Pisces energy. Tell me more about Temperance. I feel like for some of you, you're definitely spending a lot of time alone. Or that's what you're thinking about doing. Give me energy for Temperance. The Queen of Wands. Somebody could definitely have abandonment issues. To give me an energy for temperance. Why is temperance here? The Ten of Wands. So some of you are burdened currently. There could be a struggle, a lot of challenges. Somebody also has a lot of debt. I mean, time has shown that whoever you went towards comes with this ten of wands is a lot there also could have been like a heavy sense of restriction as well somebody didn't want to release or they currently don't want to release give me an energy for the ten of wands why is the ten of wands here for virgo what's the energy why is the ten of wands here for virgo the eight of wands I feel like things are piling up like very quickly for you, Virgo. Like, um, I'm hearing one delay, one problem, one issue after another. Things are happening very quickly. Um, I feel like whoever this Queen of Wands is could be kind of bothersome. This part, oh, thank you, Spirit. So this is somebody that wanted you to carry their burdens, wanted you to take on their load. Give me an energy for the moon. Why is the moon here? So this other connection, you did feel alone or you do feel alone or this person does because it's one sided. It's like one person putting in more effort than the other. Give me an energy for the moon. The knight of swords. Somebody could be aggressive, have anger issues. Why is the moon here for Virgo? What's the energy? 
Why is the moon here for Virgo? What's the energy spirit? Five of Cups. So your current energy is the Five of Cups. So this person's current energy is the Five of Cups. Somebody like rushed into a situation too quickly. Somebody believed something too quickly as well. Something that has to do with multiple people, things that were being said. I'm hearing op. So whoever this third party is, if the roles are reversed, Virgo, this person is your op. Or if you were the individual that walked away from this Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles energy, this Queen of Wands is this Queen of Pentacles op. And so there are things that are being said about the Queen of Pentacles or things that were said that could have made you or make this other person rush to judgment. But it's all lies. That's not going to resonate for everyone. Somebody could have wanted this person outcasted, orphan. That's the current energy. Somebody wants you to leave another person completely alone, leave them out in the cold. Not to ever return. Somebody don't want you to go back and try to um, fix things, work on things with another person. Give me an energy for the Knight of Swords. Knight of Cups in the reverse, Two of Swords. You know what, too? Um, whoever this third party is is very angry. <laughs> because she knows or he knows that you really don't love them. Something was just a good time. Something could have also been like a one night stand. That's how it could have started off. But something was just a good time. And now you regret it. Or this person does. And it's like. This queen of wands want to lash out at the other energy. Because you don't love her. Or you don't love him. I feel like you left your love. Your affection. You left the real thing. To go towards something that's fake, that's temporary. Um, get Or this person did. Give me an energy for the future. You know, give me something for the Five of Cups first. Why is the Five of Cups here for Virgo? What's the energy? Yeah. The Hermit. Virgo, this is you. So it's like you, you know why, you know, you, you feel the way you do. You see it for what it is. The truth is very clear. Time has revealed whatever needed to be uncovered has been uncovered or is coming uncovered. Give me an energy for orphan. Somebody could have been an orphan. Um, somebody could have been a ward of the state. Give me an energy for orphan. Somebody could have been in foster care. Thank you, spirit. Was looking for the word. Something has to do with grandparents. Somebody could have been raised by their grandparents or parents. Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. I'm telling you, somebody's stressing out because they see <laughs> what they left behind. A Nine of Pentacles energy. Somebody that's very self-sufficient, very confident, who knows how to get out of the mud, who's very talented. I'm also getting intuitive as well. Very just gifted overall. Um, this is somebody who's very stable, independent. This person embodies the Nine of Pentacles energy. Even if he or she is not where they desire to be and they're stressed, there's worry because now you see what you gave up or this person see what they gave up to go towards, to invest in. The number nine could be significant um, with the Nine of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. And with this orphan too, it's giving me like, you may not fully let people know like, how you feel or this person does and somebody keeps it within um somebody feels like they won't be understood with this orphan people won't understand them so they keep a lot of things hidden i'm hearing like details so somebody doesn't go into full details about how they actually feel the regret i'm also hearing like resentment as well um beyonce's resentment that's what i'm getting Give me an angel for, I mean, not angel. Give me, somebody's name could be angel. It could begin with the letter A. Um, 
give me a message for angels and health why is this here for virgo yeah i feel like you keep a lot of things to yourself what this person does the ace of cups tell me more about angels and health why is this here for virgo future energy why is angels in health here for Virgo? Future energy. What's the message? The page of swords. So there is going to be a love offer coming in here, Virgo. One that's truly going to be a blessing. I feel like people are going to watch you receive this Ace of Cups. Or watch this person go towards this Ace of Cups. Give me an energy for the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here for Virgo? What's the energy? Why is the Ace of Cups here for Virgo? What's the message? Future energy. Why is the Ace of Cups here? What's the energy? Okay. The Tower and the Lovers finally came out. Yep. That's going to be the shock. Somebody is going to... I'm hearing value. Um, somebody's going towards somebody that they do value. That they cherish. They love. Somebody's choosing a soulmate connection for some of you. A lot of people are going to be shocked. This person is going to be shocked. This Queen of Wands energy. That's going to bring a tower. A huge tower. But a good tower for you. And, and a bad tower for this third party. And or other energies. I'm hearing all involved. So it could have been multiple people um, involved in the situation connected to this. And they're going to have to look on and see two people come together. I'm hearing Mary. They're going to have to see someone um, go towards their happiness, their 10. Give me an energy for the tower. And I feel like too with health, like once you and this person come together, you're going to start to see a lot of things improve drastically. Give me an energy for the tower. But, of course, we all have free will. You don't have to accept the offer. But for those of you that will, that desire to, yeah. Because somebody's making a sound wise decision this time. Somebody's not choosing from this Knight of Wands energy. They're not choosing from a place of lust. They're making a practical decision. There's a lot of pentacles out here. Ten of pentacles, queen of pentacles, two of pentacles, nine of pentacles. Somebody's thinking about their future this time. Who they can actually build with. Have stability with. Give me an energy for the page of swords. Why is the page of swords here? For Virgo, what's the energy? Why is the page of swords here for Virgo? What's the energy spirit? The king of wands. Somebody's ready to take action. Give me another energy. For the page of swords. Why is the page of swords here? The king of cups. We're talking about an emperor. You know what? The reason why this person is making a different decision is because somebody is ascending. Somebody is ascending. They're taking back power over their life. Being wiser. Healed. And it's going to bring in a win for you or this other person. Somebody's focusing on themselves. Somebody's being called to tap into their higher self, to tap more into their gifts, their life purpose. Somebody could be a healer here. Somebody could also work in the medical field. Somebody could be an artist. But just know like you're being divinely guided where this person is. There's like a lot of um, divine intervention that will be playing out. Give me an energy for angels. And I feel like too with the page of swords, people are going to witness your elevation. 
people are going to witness your transformation or this person's transformation. Give me an energy for angels. Why is angels here for Virgo? What's the energy? Why is angels here? Seven of Swords. Give me one more for angels. The Knight of Pentacles. Somebody has been like deceiving you for a very long time and your angels are about to reveal this. For some of you, somebody could have been trying to affect your health, be it physical, mental, emotionally. Somebody's been using some deceitful tactics and that's coming uncovered. For some of you, this is going to be like multiple people in your life. I feel like this person or these different energies mask are about to be ripped off. Give me an energy for health. Something just could have been very stressful for you for a very long time and that's coming to an end. Why is health here for Virgo? What's the energy? Why is health here for Virgo? What's the energy spirit? The seven of pentacles. You know what? You're going to recover. For some of you, this is financially. If you've been wondering, are you going to financially recover? You are. Um, Things are going to improve for you. I feel like there's something you're not paying attention to though. With this pentacle under his feet. But your angels, your guys are going to lead you to this pentacle. Whatever this pentacle is. And I feel like this pentacle is going to be the main reason. Or one of the main reasons you go through this um, financial recovery. Somebody could have been lying to you about money, property, assets for a very long time. There could be money that's owed to you that you don't know about. Something is coming uncovered and it's like this is major divine intervention. Something is working behind the scenes for you that you don't even realize. All things are working for your good and it's going to lead you to prosperity. As well as healing. Your higher self. And the emperor at the bottom of the deck. I'm telling you, you're going to go through a major ascension. You're going to be very powerful. Look at this ace of pentacles. You're going to be very powerful. You're about to receive a huge blessing. I'm hearing financial straight. So yeah, your finances are getting ready to improve here, Virgo. And you're finally going to be able to sit on your throne. Now for some of you, you could have people... Or a particular person that's been trying to hold you back because they don't want you to have this ace of pentacles. They don't want you to have this opportunity. They don't want you to be blessed. They don't want you to be abundant. They don't want you to be in power. Somebody don't want you to sit in this chair. That's what this is. The spot that rightfully owns to you, they don't want you to have that. And like I say, there's going to be a lot of people mass falling off, true intentions being revealed, karmics in your life, Capricorn energy behind that. People that you're going to be leaping away from. Give me another energy for Virgo. What's the message? Give me another energy for Virgo. Okay. I'm telling you, victory is yours. You're going to win. You're entering your winning season. Regardless of which side of the coin you fall on in this message. It's your winning season. Whether you were the one that was walked away from or you're the one that actually walked away. Your winning season comes with you ascending. Yeah. Confirmation. My mom saying yes <laughs> to someone at the door. That is confirmation. Give me a final message for Virgo. What's the energy? 
Give me a final message for Virgo. I am happy. You're going to be happy. Like in the end, when everything is said and done, you're going to be happy with the choices you made. Even, you know, the decisions that you ended up regretting, you're going to see how everything played out, how everything worked together for the good. When it's all said and done, Virgo, you will be content, fulfilled. So this is your reading. Take what resonates. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.